Sometimes people are bothered by the size or the width of their nostrils. Sometimes there's a bump on the top of the nose. Sometimes the nose isn't straight. All of these things are individual components that can be addressed with rhinoplasty surgery. And so each surgery is really custom fit to your concerns. And during our consultation, we'll figure out what your concerns are and then build a plan around that to create the surgical options that we select for you. And probably the most frequently asked question that I get about the surgery is, will, will there be any scars? And it really depends upon what technique is used for the surgery. And then technique that's chosen really depends upon exactly what needs to be done to recontour your nose. There are two basic approaches to rhinoplasty. One is called a closed approach. And with a closed approach, there are no scars on the outside of the skin and the incisions are made just on the inside of the nostrils. With an open approach rhinoplasty, there are the same incisions on the inside of the nostrils, plus a small incision is made on the columella right about here. So when that scar heals, it's virtually invisible. While technically there is a scar there, it is really, really hard to see, and certainly at conversational distances, you won't be able to find a scar. And I've seen patients who've had rhinoplasty 10, 15 years ago uh, in another city, and they come in for something else, and I can't even find the scar that they had originally. So yes, there can be a scar there, but it really is very, very difficult to see. One of the other common questions I get with rhinoplasty is, what's the recovery like? And again, that depends upon what procedure is going to be done for your rhinoplasty and reshaping your nose. If we're just going to be reshaping some of the cartilage at the tip of your nose, the recovery will be faster than if we have to reshape the bones as well as the cartilage in your nose or the nostrils. So part of it depends upon exactly what we're doing, but in general, most folks will be swollen and bruised for about a week to 10 days. They'll have some moderate swelling that really goes down within the first couple of weeks, and by about one month, the major swelling is all gone. And then from one month up to about six to nine months, further refinements in the skin and the scar tissue continue and the skin tightens up, the scar tissue softens up, and more subtle changes in your nose will occur. But the most dramatic changes will occur in the first couple of days to first couple of weeks. Generally, you don't change anything after you've had surgery. And once your swelling has gone down and once the tissues have settled down in the scar tissue, your results will be lifelong. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call at the office, make an appointment, 703-924-3144. And if you found this video helpful, please like it. And if you know anybody who could use the information here, please share the video. And we hope to hear from you soon.